1982, both of my legs were amputated due to tissue damage from frostbite. When I was fit with my first set of prostheses, they were surprisingly crude, and that taught me the importance of good technology, good design, and its capacity to mitigate human suffering. Here in the biomechatronics group, we develop robots that attach to the body. We take digital data, so MRI of the patient's body, and use robotic uh, tools to measure the body's stiffness, and use those data to create interfaces that are more comfortable, that we can 3D print, that are multi-material. Hugh is not interested in designing canes or crutches. He's interested in designing prosthetic compasses, devices that lead the body, and even lead the mind. In many ways, Hugh's an artist and he walks the line between possible and impossible very elegantly. At Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital, we saw 32 of the marathon survivors. Dr. Hur actually came to the hospital, reached out to us, and was able to provide not only a grand rounds presentation to let these patients know that some of the best technology would be available, but also giving them the courage to take on new dreams. There's two critical applications. One is for persons that have a limb pathology, something's wrong with their leg, for example. And the second application is actually to augment a person with a completely normal physiology. So an exoskeleton, for example, that makes a person stronger, more efficient. I imagine a future where technology is so good that we can largely uh, eliminate disability and human limitation. I think what we're calling extreme bionics and the idea of eliminating all disabilities, physical and mental, in the next 10 or 15 years, that would be superb.